Welcome back. Let's take a look at this game together that I just played on 81 Dojo. I did a post-game analysis, but the audio didn't come out because I hadn't tested things properly in advance. So let's just dive in without further ado. This game, I was playing the uh, second player, the white piece is Gota. Um, I decided that I was going to attack on the right side of the board. And uh, my opponent uh, did well to defend against my early attack. And I just decided uh, to do this kind of freestyle thing. I, I confused a lot of different ideas all together. And this confusing all the ideas together didn't really serve me well. Um, so I guess first of note, like I had some doubts about this at the time I played it, even as much as I had doubts about bringing this gold up, um, based on bringing the silver up this way. I don't need to bring the silver up this way. I could like bring the silver out and the gold out and the silver out and play this nice solid compact shape while they're over, uh, uh, my opponent's pieces are all kind of like stuck in this corner. So it's fine if they box in their pieces into this corner and I like take the center and eventually do something somewhere. But yes, I confused all of my attacking ideas at once here, but my opponent didn't really start an attack. They built a castle. Uh, we played an earlier game where it was also a decent game. But, um, yeah, they got, I know they wanted to try some strong castle this game. They built this nice vertical castle, which is great, except for the fact that the only thing I'm using to attack with vertically is my king, which is not super smart. So, yeah, I start this engagement. It's extremely premature. Um, my king is not defended well. I have a lot of loose pieces. I did like the potential I had to attack my opponent's rook. Um, I definitely like rooks. And I especially like a rook in the opponent's camp. But I got more than a bit carried away here. And one thing of note is that if they take here with this bishop, I can't really go along with my original plan, which was to exchange here uh, and then break through somehow. This is massively problematic because uh, my opponent can also like drop the bishop here and then promote it. Um, but I got lucky that they did pawn takes instead of bishop takes, um, which put me back in the game. And so I managed to promote my pawn. We exchanged the pawn for this silver. Uh, in this case, they don't really have too much of a choice about it. So this is another way things could go. Um, but no, that's not how things are going to go there. So there's that. Um, and then we attack their rook. And we exchange here. Yeah, so I... I confused myself many times this game. Um, I started an attack with one or two pieces, and it's great that I coordinated my bishop and rook and silver together. But they've actually played a decent defense here, and I need to, like... Um, they're able to do that because I'm taking a pawn, and I thought I had things worked out, and I really didn't. This is much clearer. Um, they just, like, this is a target, um, but then also, like, I'm threatening to drop the silver in and then promote it. This is very difficult for them to deal with. They don't have time to push the pawn and push the pawn and move the pawn out of the way and promote the rook. Because this hits immediately. And that's an issue. And so they'd have to come up with some way to defend against that, and then I'd be able to take this, so... Um, yeah, it's a big calculation blind spot on my part. So I gave them the rook in hand, and I escape my knight, and they start this attack. 
And I can just say that, like, there's just a series of calculation errors on my part. Everything I'm doing is just not the right thing. This is clearly, like, I just take the pawn. And if they exchange this, it's fine. I just take back. And then we just repeat the sequence. Like, somehow I thought this wasn't going to work out. But it just, no. So anyway, during the game, I barely avoided this. This would have been a disaster. Um, so uh, yeah, here they're threatening uh, this gold drop checkmate. So I luckily saw that that was really spooky. Um, and then I played another defensive piece. Just in case they decide to sacrifice here, I have this square under control. So, yeah, then I sacrifice my tokens to give me the ability to play a pawn over here. Um, again, this is more than a bit cowardly. They could probably just take it. Um, but they didn't. So, somehow that spooked them. And at this point, I play this Cowardly Retreat. If I had my wits about me, I would have played something more like that. And then I'm threatening to bring um, my Lance out. And I wouldn't even move the Lance. I'd just, like, take there. And this is just game. But I didn't do that. Instead, I did this and this and this. And eventually, things worked out. I was able to get some pieces and the opponent concedes, but overall it was more complex game than I expected. They did well defending against my tactics, and I was lucky to out-calculate them. But if they played a little bit more aggressively, this would have been a mess. So, uh, thanks for the game, and have a good day.